is like a good player, and if he's able to like, you know play his game, but then it's gonna be over. Yeah, yeah for sure. But I could see this being really tough for Peanut as well, with how depending on how good of a how yeah, good of a well, zone or Indy well, is. Because how often do you play against Isabel? That's the whole thing, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's the exactly. whole thing. Okay. We're looking for some pots, some stop signs. Yeah, that's setting up shop on her day off, away from Tom Nook finally. Yeah, we're gonna be seeing a lot of this from yes. here. Yeah, Peanut. Yeah. It, this, is a, yeah. this is a different oh, yeah. game plan from Peanut than we saw in the first set today. I mean, he has to he has to adapt to it. Like, that's, like that's right. That's you're right. Playing against the best assistant in the world, like yep. <laughs> you you have to account for everything she's gonna be throwing at you. Yeah, the thing about Indy's play that's very interesting here is not only does he not seem to care very much about center stage, but I also don't think he has to care about it because yeah. at the end of the yeah. day, if you're Isabel, you're playing at the edge, you have time to set up your down Bs. You can also use fishing rod or just like a, or a back throw yeah. and, and change yeah. the game completely for Peanut. Oh but as we're, just as we're speaking, Peanut obviously able to close out that first stock now. Maybe already figured something out to this game plan. We'll just yeah. have to see. Yeah, I don't have to see if Indy can also, just keep the composure. You know, we talk about pressure up against these top players, and Peanut, uh, you do gotta, you gotta keep composed against the man, because you know, he will completely. No, that is absolutely everything. right. As you see, Indy trying to go for the dash attack, trying to go for net off nothing. Okay. Uh, okay. Able to convert it, off the ledge. We've seen Indy Peanut thrive on ledge this whole, uh, this whole tournament so far. Indy seems to oh, be twice. really reaching that's off twice. of these up tilts that he's getting yeah. at the edge here. He, yeah. he really, because you can tell he really wants to go for the back air because he wants to knock Peanut off, okay. or maybe like when maybe he could just go for like an IDJ Nair or right. something instead, exactly. and get basically the same effect. But he just he wants to knock him off as far as possible. And right there, that greed was a loss in the second stock. Yep. Yep. Okay, managed to take one at least off Peanut. He he needed that stock for sure. Oh, but Peanut putting on a ton of damage. Yep. Uh, he's got timings now. And do some third strike parry and projectiles. Yeah, I just. That, oh, he was up. looking for a big platform reset there. And that up B actually will be the first game as well. Three even times with good in a row. Up B off the top, off the platform. Spells doom for Indy. Big W That's for right. Peanut. Yeah, I mean, you see him play matchups like this, and you just got to be like, okay, this this is the best little Mac in the world, it's right? A, like, okay, yeah. like, I can't get any better. Literally, than this. He's, yeah. he's not he's not playing the same character that we see everyone else play. Oh, absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah, he it's a different plays, guy. He plays on a totally different gear. Is that Little Mac? Is that Epo? You tell me. I don't know. <laughs> Definitely think we just need to see a bit more composure on Endy's side there, because he was really cooking at the beginning of that first game. Yeah, yeah. yeah I mean, he has to he has to add some more variables into his offense because yep. Peanut figured it out real quick. You saw like tell her tail into that, got the timings of the slingshot hits. Able to be pairing all of those. Yeah, I also really just think that he needs to take the hits that he's being given. Yeah. You know, like like not not so much in the fact that he's getting hit by Peanut, but instead, again, to say he was he was getting some of those up tilts near the edge. Peanut was about at about 50, 60 percent, and you could tell he was just really greeting for some back airs or for or for like trying to get a reset on you know something that Peanut was just not willing to give him there, and it ended up losing him a stock and a couple of advantage states. Oh wow! <laughs> just all right, insane call for Peanut. That Great was up like smash. Ten seconds, cool. Okay, Peanut, once again, trying to speed run through. See what Indy wow. can get done. Yeah, oh, man. Speaking of variables in the in the aggression there, the, the dash attack actually coming out, but Peanut having the parry. Oh, no. KO punch now available. Oh, oh and that air dodge oh, really, wow. I feel like, yeah. should have been hit there, but yep. right. instead now he'll just get a double up tilt into uh, up air combo on the platform there. Yep. That's and right. reset to neutral. He's definitely doing a really good job just waiting for Endy to make a mistake and capitalizing on it. Sometimes even just getting a full stock out of it, but that should be you know, uh, stock. A, yeah, okay, cool. We'll manage to take the first or take the second stock now. Right. Tied two to two, but is it really a tie? I mean, is it 55.6%? One neutral interaction. Okay, maybe yeah. two inter neutral interactions. And yeah. it's over for Endy's stock. Ooh, okay. Be Isabel being a rather floaty character. Yep. Being Ooh, able to get away from Peanut when they need to, but they're not able to set up shop. They're not able to get stuff going. We'll do up tilt and up air. Should we get something there? No Lloyd set, no projectiles gone. Pot's gonna miss as well. Dashes through. It's an upper. Oh, you don't want to meet up up there on the platform. Oh, He's no. Died from that one four times now. Yeah, I think a back air right there on Peanut's shield was just not really uh, not giving respect to that little Mac up B. It is yep. frame three out of shield. Really, really fast. Oh, and KO punches back online. Just a f couple hits here from Peanut. This could be the end of the set. Okay, down throw. Ooh, Never mind. <laughs> Gone. Wow. 
A down tilt dash attack. Yeah, just going to continue to rack up this damage oh. here. No KO punch online, but as we've seen so far, he really doesn't even need yeah, it in this wait. set. And should've finally, waited. yeah, calling out that neutral get up there. And he had gotten away with a couple neutral get up up tilts, some aggressive options from yeah. that. So I think even if he didn't call it the timing itself and he missed it, maybe allowed Andy to get that move out, the super armor still would have taken it away. So right. great stuff to Peanut. I mean, making that matchup, which I mean, maybe it doesn't sound like the, the hardest, like most insane matchup in the game for a Little Mac, but you know, definitely still a zoner, still someone that you have to, you know, be super cognizant of all the traps yep. and and the, especially the offstage game as well. Especially, so. especially yeah. the offstage game. And shout out to Indy for sticking to his guns, sticking to Isabel, mm -hmm. doing whatever they can. But Peanut is just 